Hello and welcome back to the Business Blueprint Online YouTube channel, where we help you build a successful business. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to learn how to start a successful business. In this video, we're going to show you how to start a wholesale business step by step. If you're starting in business, you may be feeling overwhelmed. You have all the information and you know what to do, but you don't know where to start. That's why this guide is so important. It will take you step by step through starting a wholesale business from understanding the different types of wholesale businesses to choosing the right equipment and marketing strategy. What is a wholesale business? A wholesale business is a business that is not just limited to selling products but also offers services such as design, management, and marketing. This type of business is perfect for businesses just starting out or for businesses that want to expand their reach. A wholesale business can be a great option for businesses looking to increase their sales volume or for businesses that want to start with a more modest price point. Why start a wholesale business? There are many reasons to start a wholesale business. For one, it can be an incredibly profitable option. To make money from your wholesale business, you'll need to sell various products at a lower price than you would if you were selling them through a retail store. What kind of skills are required to start a wholesale business? You'll need a few different skills to start a wholesale business. You'll need to read and write and have a good understanding of marketing and have some experience in selling products. Additionally, you'll need to be able to navigate the maze of paperwork that comes with starting a wholesale business. Reasons you should start a wholesale business There are many reasons you should start a wholesale business. Here are six of the most important reasons. Number one. You can save money. When you start, you'll likely find that you need to spend more marketing and equipment than you would if you were starting from scratch. By starting as a wholesale business, you can save money on these costs and still get high quality products and services. Number two, you can be your boss. As a wholesale business, you can set your prices, work with whomever you want and do whatever you want with your products. This means that you can experiment and change the product or service to fit your specific needs. Number three, you have control over your product. When you start as a wholesale business, you have complete control. This means that not only can you make changes to the product to fit your needs, but also you can make choices about how to market the product and who to sell it to. Number four, you don't have to worry about competition. When you start as a wholesale business, there's no one else who offers the products that you're selling. This makes it easy to build up extensive customer base and stay ahead of the competition. Number 5. You're in control. Whether or not a wholesaler wants to advertise or sell their products is their own decision. You're in control of how well your business does and how much money you make. Reasons why you shouldn't start a wholesale business There are a few reasons why you shouldn't start a wholesale business. For one, it isn't easy to exactly know where to start. There are so many different wholesale businesses and there isn't one right way to do things. It cannot be easy to find the right equipment and marketing strategy. Is a wholesale business profitable? Wholesale business are often profitable, but there are various factors to consider. For example, the size of your business can affect how much money you make. Additionally, marketing and equipment costs can be higher than in a retail setting. You'll also need to decide if you want to do it yourself or outsource some of the work. How much does it cost to start a wholesale business? The cost of starting a wholesale business can vary depending on the size of your business. However, most businesses start with about $1,000 and increase as they grow. How to start a wholesale business? Business niche or idea? If you're starting, it may be helpful to focus on a specific business or niche. This will allow you to gain more knowledge and inspiration while still making mistakes. For example, if you want to start a wholesale business, it may help to focus on clothing. This is a popular business, and there are many different ways to market and sell your products. You can also find information online about setting up a wholesale business. Research product or service Before starting a wholesale business, it's important to research the product and services you plan to sell. This will help you determine which type of wholesale business is right for you and ensure that your sales efforts are successful. Assess needs Before starting a wholesale business, it's important to assess your needs. You need to know what you want and how you can get it. There are many different wholesale businesses, so you'll need to find the one that best suits your needs. You'll also need to find the right equipment and marketing strategy. 
Research competition. Before you start selling anything, it's important to research the competition. Doing so will help you understand what products and services are being offered and which strategies are being used by your competitors. Additionally, it will give you a good idea of where to set your prices and which marketing techniques works best for them. Create a business entity. Before you can start selling products, you first need to create a business entity. This entity will help you make your business more organized and easier to book sales. You also need to choose the right name for your business and get it registered with the government. Business licenses and certificates if necessary. If you're starting a wholesale business, you'll need to get a business license and or a certificate from the government. A business license is important because it allows you to do business in your state. A certificate from the government will also allow you to sell products not allowed in any other state. Get EIN or start an LLC. If you're starting a wholesale business, you'll need to get an employer identification number. This number is specific to your business and is needed to apply for various state and federal permits. You can find yours online or by calling the Federal Trade Commission. There are many wholesale businesses, so it's important to select the right one for your business. You need to decide what type of business you want to open, manufacturing, retail, or both. What kind of products will you sell? And what type of marketing strategy will you use? Open a business bank account. The most important step in starting a wholesale business is opening a bank account. This will allow you to deposit products and make loans. You'll also need to set up an accounting system so that you can track your sales and expenses. Create a business plan. Before you start selling anything, it's important to create a business plan. This document will outline your business goals and how you plan on achieving them. It will also outline your financials and how you will pay for your products. You'll also need to create a marketing strategy and choose the right equipment. Implement bookkeeping. When you're starting, it's important to take the time to implement bookkeeping. This will help you stay organized and track your business progress. Additionally, Bookkeeping will help you budget your business and make smarter decisions about marketing and equipment. Without bookkeeping, it will be difficult to determine whether you're making progress or not. Create a marketing plan. Before starting your wholesale business, it's important to create a marketing plan. This includes strategies for websites, social media, and email marketing. You'll also need to consider your target market and the type of products or services you'll be selling. Get a website. A website is the foundation of a wholesale business. It's where you list your products and where customers can find information about your products. You'll also need a website to promote your business. This is where you will put all of your marketing materials like descriptions of your products and pictures of your products. Get a logo. Before you start selling anything, it's important to get a logo. A good logo will help you identify your business and distinguish your products from your competitors. You'll also need one for your website and your marketing materials. Start email marketing. Another step in starting a wholesale business is to create an email marketing list. This list will help you get the word out there about your business and will help you generate leads. Start social media. The first step in starting a wholesale business is social media marketing. You can use social media to connect with potential customers, answer questions, and generate leads. You can also use social media to promote your business and create awareness of your brand. It's important to get your name out there and promote your products online. Get business insurance. A business is a valuable investment and your business is at risk if something goes wrong. You need to protect yourself and your business by getting business insurance. Businesses are expensive to operate and without insurance, you could lose everything you've worked for. You also don't want to be in a position where you have to pay out of pocket if something happens to your business. Create a launch plan. Before starting any wholesale business, it's important to create a launch plan. This will help you determine what you need and how you can best get it. You'll also want to determine your goals for the business. What are your long-term goals? What are your short-term goals? What are your specific target markets? And how will you measure success? Start the business. When you're starting a wholesale business, it's important to start by understanding the different types of wholesale businesses. There are several wholesale businesses and each has its unique advantages and disadvantages. You need to choose the type of wholesale business that will best serve your needs. What do I need for a wholesale business? There are a few things you'll need to start a wholesale business. You'll need a warehouse, a sales force, and an advertising strategy. 
Additionally, you'll need to choose the right type of wholesale business, whether it's a direct-to-consumer or an indirect-to-consumer business. Starting a wholesale business can be a rewarding and challenging experience.